Good fine morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this video and welcome to the North Country Outdoor Channel. For me it's morning. It's actually uh, a little before 7 but you might be watching this a year from now. Who knows? Uh, it doesn't really matter the time of day. Although I always do say tomorrow's a new day. Be creative and own it. This is that new day. This is that new morning. The new beginning. Uh, you know, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you're productive and that you do what makes you happy. Uh, for me, we're getting an early start today. We actually, <clears throat> we're, we're finishing up a tree job today. It was a pretty big one. Power lines in the way, house is in the way. And we thought it was going to take two days and this is actually the fourth day, which kind of stinks. But, you know, sometimes you get yourself into situations that were unforeseen and you just need to take your time for safety reasons. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to talk today about charging by the hour versus by the job. Now this is, uh, it's, it's kind of like the ultimate what do I do situation. And where I'm at in the work that I'm doing in most situations you charge by the job although I would love to charge by the hour because charging by the hour is the only way that you can really ensure that you're gonna make the money that you need to make but when a customer calls and says hey I need this tree removed or hey I need this done they want to know how much it's gonna cost them a, a straight price of hey it's gonna cost you fifteen hundred dollars to have this done they do not want to hear uh, it's a hundred dollars an hour uh, plus this plus that or it's it's thirty dollars a man hour and we run a three-man crew so that's ninety dollars an hour it's done when it's done Th that doesn't work for them in most situations because th they don't know how much it's gonna cost maybe they don't have enough money budgeted and they only have $1,500 budgeted, but it took you longer, so it ends up costing $2,100. You see, it's it's a tough gig because I would love to charge by the hour, but sometimes, you, like unforeseen circumstances come up, equipment breaks down. You know, the tree didn't go the way that that you thought it was going to go. You need to run a snatch block and tackle, and you didn't think you were going to have to, and it takes more time. Uh, but but who's who should cover that that time lost? If your equipment breaks down, should the customer have to pay for that time down or or not? I mean that's that's up to you. That's that's your you know me personally. I don't think so. So we do everything by the job. Now the only way to ensure that I don't get screwed and that I make exactly what I need to make is to charge by the hour. But the only way for the, the customer to not get screwed and they spend exactly what they have budgeted is to charge by the job. So basically what that comes down to is you just, you, you live and you learn. Uh, you, you gain knowledge from every job that you do and you know, you win some and you lose some, but you learn to show up on a job site and you see things that are red flags that are gonna take more time that are going to take more effort. Uh, obviously, equipment breakdowns are, are never something that you know that's going to happen. So that's uh, that you can't really factor that in. But you just learn that when you show up on a tree job quote, just looking up what you know, how much time is this going to take? Now, I will say that like this job that I'm on now, you know, it's taking a little bit longer because we ran into some issues that we didn't think we were going to have. But we did, and, and, and that's okay. So for me, do I like to make money? Of course I like to make money. But if, if my employees are paid, and my business bills are paid, and I personally didn't make any money on the job, um, you know, that sucks, but my name got out there, another job down, my guys are happy, my bills are paid, I learned something from that. So I don't really look at it like I didn't make any money personally on this job. And when I say personally, I mean my company makes money, but by the time I pay my 
you know, my monthly bills and stuff like that. There's not a lot left for me to take home to my family. And, uh, you know, my wife makes money and she can cover the household bills, which is, which is nice. Uh, and this doesn't happen every time, but sometimes I don't make all that much money and it's, it's frustrating, but it's also a learning experience. So next time you go to a job and you see, you know, circumstances that are similar to what you've seen on this job, you can say, okay, okay, it's going to take, you know, this could take a little bit longer. So I'm going to need to charge a little bit more. So in my area, it's mostly charging by the job, not by the hour. There are people that, that charge strictly by the hour, uh, you know, straight up. It's 120 bucks an hour. It's done when it's done. If you have $500 budgeted, we will do, you know, four and a half hours worth of work. Uh, and you get what you get. And if the customer doesn't want that, they walk away. And, and that's up to the that's up to the business owner. It really is. Uh, me personally, I'd rather have the work and make the customer happy. So we go by the job. I've done videos on how to bid tree work. I'm sure I'll do more videos on how to bid. You know certain things. I know uh, fall's coming, so it's going to be time to start bidding commercial snow plowing. Uh, I'll do a video on that. So just remember, tomorrow's a new day be creative and own it. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, support what I'm doing here. I would really appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Just remember, I love you guys. You are awesome. And I will see you next time.